Hello, this is Sarah Jamshidi. Welcome to my channel, Peace Talk with Sarah. So many of you who know me and know my work, you know that I am Iranian American, and uh, I am uh, uh, I have a very good knowledge about uh, what's going on in Iran and what's going on in the United States for two reasons. The first reason is I just follow news and I know what's going on inside in, in these two countries. And the second reason um, is I, I live, I mean, I, I, I haven't been back in Tehran for a, a few years, but I have lived and have connections with Iran, with Tehran, and I live in the United States. So my perspective about these two nations is very unique. Uh, many of my American friends, especially uh, uh, my American uh, women, um, women American friends, has come to me and told me that I just need to explain a few things. The other day I was in my friend's house and this beautiful lady, she, I just love her. She is Jewish American and she is a very strong woman. Um, she was in tears basically and explaining to me that how upset she is about what's going on between these two nations and um, she works with refugees and with immigrants. Uh, she was telling me that every time, I do not uh, reveal her, her name because I do not have the permission to do so, but she was just telling me that um, every time uh, she sees a refugee or immigrant and she feels uh, just a mutual um, bonding between the, uh, between the woman, uh, goes and asks permission and just hugs them, hugs them and thanks them and she tells them, I mean, she she said the, the, word, the, the sentence in such a passion and compassion that really, really touched my heart. She said that I go to them and I, I tell them, welcome to, uh, to this country and I am very glad that you are here. It was, it was just, I was in tears when she was telling me this. Or um, the other day I was uh, at my office, a beautiful uh, American mom uh, who is doing amazing job with elderly in this, in, in Seattle area. She came to me and she was just keep saying, oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for uh, what the uh, U.S. has done uh, against Iran. I'm so sorry what, uh, what's going on. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And then I was just, you know, um, I mean, it, it, it just uh, and she started crying. She was in tears and she was very upset. And with her, I started I, I started crying myself. <laughs> Um, so and then and then I was just thinking that um, uh, how about me as someone who understands these two nations just explain what's going on, explain uh, from a human level, not uh, not as a journalist, not as an entrepreneur, not none of those, but as a, someone who knows what's going on and who can explain things uh, in a way that makes sense. I think I can do that as an educator, as someone who writes and explains uh, things to the public. So here I am. Um, with this video, with the series of videos, I'm just going to talk about my own life back uh, when I was growing up in Tehran and my life when I was uh, um, I mean, adjusting myself and adapting into the American culture and to this nation. Um, in fact, uh, uh, some of you who know me know that I manage a, um, a news website. Uh, it's called Goldtune, G-O-L-T-U-N-E. Uh, in Goldtoon for probably next two weeks, starting in February, February 3 and February 6, uh, I am running a, a, an op-ed, so to speak, or a story of me uh, as a 16-year-old girl uh, found porn books in my dad's attic back in Tehran in our residence. Uh, we had a big house and then I just found these books and I, I'm just explaining all of those, um, uh, the, the, what was going on in details. So I encourage you to go and to read those two, those, uh, those two, uh, two parts of uh, that particular story. 
So, um, and also for, for, for the month of February, since it is uh, the February 14 is Valentine's Day and it's a big deal in the US, um, we decided in, in our editorial that we are going to focus on love, sex, and sexuality, of celebrating sexuality. So many of the stories that we are going to cover um, and publish next uh, month is going to be about sex, about enjoying sex, about celebrating sexuality, and, and about love. So I do encourage you to, to visit our website, not only for the story that I, I'm running, but also for the other stories that we are uh, posting next month. So I'm just looking at my notes to make sure that I am, I am saying everything that I would like to cover here. Um, yeah, so for um, I, I just wanted to add this, that for many of us uh, Iranian Americans, um, it has been um, it has been difficult, very difficult uh, during the last few days because of few reasons. The first reason is many of us, almost everyone, just hate an uh, Iranian regime who wouldn't. Uh, a regime that kills its people, a regime that has been uh, notoriously, how can I say, so brutal against its own nations. And second of all, we, many of us, many of us have our friends, our family. In fact, I mean, I just was talking to my grandma yesterday uh, in Tehran or my parents are in Tehran. So uh, we have families back in Tehran. So for us, uh, I mean, we love this nation. We love the United States. We love what the United States is offering us. And we love Iran. We love Iran. We love the culture. We love Persian empire. We love everything that the country has been offering to uh, culturally to many of us. And so it has been a very difficult moment for, uh, for many Iranian Americans. But here, I just want to, as much as I can, to to unfold uh, some of those uh, some of those feelings and, exp and and tell you my own stories of uh, how it's like to be an Iranian American in the United States. Um, yes. Um, so again, I'm just looking at my notes to make sure that I'm <laughs> I'm saying everything that I would like to say. Um, my next uh, my next video is going to be on February six. Uh, then I am going to come back with uh, probably talking about some of the abandoned books that I I got my hands on. I mean, books uh, like Madame Bovary or, um, or Bovary, I don't know how to exactly pronounce it, or um, Divine Comedy by Dante. So um, the books that, um, I mean, we are not supposed to read, but I had, uh, I had my hands on, on reading them. Um, and also about some of the other anecdotes as, you know, covering uh, business and covering uh, politics back in Tehran when I was a reporter. Uh, and putting all of those into perspective. I also really would love to tell you about Iran relationship with its nations and Iran's uh, political, um, um, I mean, the, the, the Iran's allocations, like the, the Iran's strategic allocations within the region. I think. I mean, I am. I am an educator and a reporter, so maybe, maybe there are a few things that I can talk about that you don't know, and and I would love to learn and hear from you about the things that you think I I should talk about. So it's only one request I have, <laughs> only one request, and that is to if you could please uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, uh, this video is not exactly live, I'm just going to uh, make it live um, immediately. But in order to be live, uh, YouTube asks uh, me to have more than 1,000 subscribers. I have very, very few, <laughs> it's probably a one digit number. But if you could subscribe to my channel, uh, it would be great because uh, then I can, uh, I can uh, produce um, uh, these videos live. This is my intention of producing the videos live. So please subscribe. 
Also, please go to goldtone.com, G-O-L-T-U-N-E.com and just read about uh, some of the fascinating stories that we're publishing this month and next month. For the month of um, March, we are focusing on peace activism and after that we are uh, focusing on halal expo so explaining what is halal expo what is the uh, muslim market and again i'm just going to explain why i decided to uh, focusing on um, this market because i think media is notoriously so um negative towards uh, this uh, this minority group Thanks so much for watching uh, and um, um, watching uh, uh, my channel. Please subscribe and please go to goldtoon.com to read about those two stories that I'm talking about. Thank you. Merci.